One of the really cool, freaky things about this beach is that there's hot springs underneath the sand. The hot springs come down from the hills, go under the beach, so that if you dig a little hole in the beach and you get it just right, with the warm water coming up and the cool water coming because it gets really hot, that you can have your own little hot spray. <laughs> <laughs> such a beautiful place to be. And then when we had a happy hour, once we had a tamale class going on, we learned how to make tamales, so they came back, and they pulled up in this car playing music, and so everybody started salsa dancing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a good time. It was a, it, this picture still makes me laugh. You may see one very similar to this in the photo competition. <laughs> 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 photos in the witness protection program. <laughs> <laughs> we also had live entertainment. We had mariachi band a couple of times that would come play for us. This time they're playing at our dinner. And then we had a group called Folklorico, a bunch of uh, kids that were trying to remember and save the folklore dances of Mexico or their region. And the kids were so damn cute. And they had a bunch of different costume changes. This is about a bullfight. So they had this girl flinging her skirt, him running around as moose, or moose. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> not a moose. A bull on his head. <laughs> it was cute. I'm a little nervous. I'm sorry. Um, anyways, they had a lot of costume changes. And this is one of our charity groups that we also gave to because they needed more things. Some families couldn't afford the shoes. The shoes cost like $100 for some of these outfits, and so we made sure that they had money to buy more costumes for the kids. It was good. The local theater group, there, there's a bunch of expats in the community, uh, Americans that are living down there either full-time or part-time. Um, some are cookier than all get out, but they're <laughs> But they had their own theater presentation. They gave this little thing about love letters where these two people read letters back and forth over the years. It was really cute. And we even had opera singer. This lady also um, taught and sang in San Diego and all kinds of stuff. And she had a group of three <coughs> students with her and they all sang for us different Mexican songs and opera. It was wonderful. Miguel Pablo, the owner of the beach camp that I told you a little bit about, he's also a Baja car driver. And, and when I was growing up, my brother's always into the Baja car racing. So I talked to him about this, and he wound up taking some of us through his garage and showing us his car and talking about the race, and it was really, really cool. And then we also worked. Another part of our charity was working, and one of them was at the local school. They have a playground that was falling apart. This is our school crew, and this is them getting ready to go to work. It's a big group of people, yes, sir. Right. At the um, top of the thing is the Welcome Mexican Connection Chapter 8, the same banner you see here. I don't know what it originated from, though. Yeah. Right there. Miguel, oh. made it for us. Miguel made it for us? I did not know this. Oh, Miguel made us the banner. That's really yeah, cool. Well, he made the banner just to welcome us, and there's the banner there. So. <laughs> about this whole trip too. We talked a little bit about um, people being nervous and afraid to go and everything, but as we went, because more and more people are afraid to go to Mexico right now for whatever reason, um, which we never saw any of those issues come up, but uh, everybody was so grateful that we were there and thanked us over and over. Thank you so much for coming to see us. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. And as we work on the school project, as we're getting food or whatever in town, I say, thank you for fixing up our school for the kids. Thank you for fixing this. But this is working on some of the projects we had at the school. We had picnic tables and effects painted, that um, little climbing thing that's there had a big welding issue in the middle. We had bleachers that had to be welded. Kelly rocked on that. And um, everybody painted it. And even this little girl, who she had her seventh birthday on her trip. And even she's out there helping us at the school project. 
and we also raked and we painted and we folded and we picked up trash 